All right. So the first tool I want to talk about is called the Docky, D-O-C-K-Y. It's available easily on the software center. All you need to do is go down to your software center and start typing Docky. It'll directly take you to the, to the uh, software file. Uh, you just have to hit the install button. I already installed the Docky and it says the finest dock no money can buy. Uh, believe me, it's not that great and customizable, but it definitely serves the purpose. And it's actually better than Rocket Dock for some reasons. Uh, for example, you don't need an extra desktop, desktop coral or sub, such kind of an app. So this is Docky. It ain't that great when it first in, when, it, when it is first installed, but uh, with a few customizations and drag and drops, it can be made awesome. The next app I want to talk about is called the Synapse. It's kind of like the spotlight of Mac, a universal search button. Uh, it kind of looks like this. But however, Ubuntu has its own search, universal search called the Unity. But Synapse is in many ways faster than Unity, but it's kind of hard to reach and not very customizable either. There is no customizable hotkey to reach Synapse. I either have to hover it with the mouse or uh, press Alt F10. But Unity, all, all I need to do is press the super button and I got the Unity search. So Unity is better in this way. The next app I want to talk about is called the Slings Gold. This, what most people said, is an alternative for the launch pad we have on the Mac. But meh, that's what I feel. I never got much use of it. Uh, there is actually no customization ability for this software, or at least uh, there is no customization ability that I know of for this software. I never really used it much, but it is kind of there. There is another app called the Sling Shot, which does something similar, but never really tried it either. All right, so that was about the apps that can come in handy to give a Mac look for Ubuntu. Now, let me talk about the tools. In any software, there is something called tweaking, which means improving or making fine adjustments to the settings, and you can build something new with that. And um, in Ubuntu, there are tweaking tools available, which throw us a lot of options to play with. And by playing, I mean customizing. So I like to call it that way. So let's get started with tools. First one in the list is the Unity Tweak tool. Let me just open it, and yeah. There you go. To begin with, it is just a grid of icons which are really easy to navigate through and each icon is a window to a lot of buttons or switches. Uh, for instance, that was an on and off switch to auto hide the launcher and there are many, many such switches in this tool or buttons, whatever you call. You can actually change several settings through this tool. Uh, the themes, you can change the themes you have in your system or you can change the way you snap the windows uh, etc. For instance, uh, you can consider this. I'm here going to change the transparency of the top bar, which is generally not possible without a tool. And the change happens live in the background. So that's something a possibility. And yeah, I like to keep it optimized. So that is about Unity Tweak tool. The next tool uh, I want to talk about is called the Ubuntu Tweak tool. The previous one was Unity, and this is Ubuntu Tweak. It's different. Uh, let me just open it first. Yeah. This tool helps us customize some of the basic things, like the system font, sound, etc. Uh, don't go with the icons. They kind of are random every single time you log in. It's, again, pretty simple to navigate through. It's, it's easy to move forward and backward. Uh, you have a lot of buttons again. And one of the prime reasons uh, this tool is better than the previous one is the ability to customize the lock screen which is not something that is provided by default by windows i mean ubuntu i'm sorry initially all these buttons are locked but once you enter those magic words i meant your password these buttons become alive and you can play with them you just have to be a bit careful while using some of these features uh, if you have any problem again google is there to rescue just google things up and yeah, that's Ubuntu tweak. And the third tweak, th or the th third tool I want to talk about uh, in this list is called the tweak tool. It's different. Uh, the first one was Ubu uh, Unity tweak, and the second one was Ubuntu tweak. Both of them are different from this. This is called just the tweak tool. Uh, this one is very basic. Uh, this is one of the very basic tools I've seen. It actually has very limited options I have known, and it ain't really that visually friendly either. Uh, it's easy to navigate through just a few of button a few buttons few menu items and very limited options 
I personally haven't got much use of it. The UI navigation, everything are again pretty simple, but maybe it could come handy for beginners. I'm not sure, I'm just saying, because not everyone thinks alike, right? So those are the few tools I wanna talk about that help tweak Windows, Ubuntu. Those help tweak Ubuntu. The last one I'm gonna talk about today is gonna to be awesome. It is by far the best one I've seen. It is called the Compass Configuration Manager and I'd like to call it gold mine of customization. It is both awesome and risky at the same time. In fact, the first thing you see when you try to open Compass is actually a warning message which says, if you screw things up carelessly, you might end up with an un unusable machine. But again, yeah, some tools vert that risk and this is one of them. You actually can customize almost anything you see. The windows, the animation, really almost anything, almost everything. And yeah, like I said before, you gotta be careful while playing with stuff. For instance, if you try to make uh, some settings and if any error message popped up, I recommend don't just take decisions based on your intuition. Don't go for right or wrong immediately. Uh, I recommend you go ask a friend. In fact, I have a friend who really comes handy or helpful in these situations. He's called the Google and yeah, he pretty much knows everything. So if you have any questions while playing, go Google things up. You can find a solution and you really can do a lot of things. Have a happy time using Compass, the mother of customization tools. The next thing I'm going to talk about is very different from what we've seen until now. It is a tool for the trackpad. The name of the software is called X-Swipe. To talk about X-Swipe in a single line, it is a multi-touch recognizer which, ha which can help recognize gestures like a MacBook. Uh, before telling how to get it, let me first show you. So that's what it does. So how to get it? If you're a regular Linux user who knows how to install software in a Linuxy style with the terminal and all, installing this could be a cakewalk for you. Don't worry, if you, even if you're not a Linux user, a professional Linux user, uh, it's not that big uh, trouble. It might look a little bit intimidating in the beginning, but the link I'm gonna give in the description actually has everything in very detail. Uh, one thing I want to uh, speak about is this is tweaking with the drivers of your PC. So before going any forward, I would recommend verifying whether your hardware has a capability of multi-touch or not. If yes, go ahead, install this and play with it. Uh, just be careful though, because it's something with the hardware, you gotta be careful before you know tweaking things up. Uh, at any case, in any case, if you have a problem, you have Google for rescue. I started seeing this several times now. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> so that's X Swipe. It helps you customize your hardware. And oh yeah, there's something I wanted to say. It is not just enough if you install this uh, on your computer. There is something more you gotta do. Uh, Google X Swipe, X S W I P E for more info. And this software has a small problem. These gestures will be turned off automatically after you turn off your PC. And every time you log in, you have to enter this command in the terminal. It is hard to remember, so I recommend save the code in a PDF or a text document which can come in handy. Every time you log in, 
open the terminal and also the text document with the Perl command, copy that and paste it in your terminal with a right click, and minimize the terminal until you shut the PC down. You can enjoy multi-touch gestures seamlessly. So that is X-Swipe, giving multi-touch capabilities like a Mac. Before I end this video, I would like to give a big shout out to the guys working at Noobs Lab. They actually do fantastic work. In fact, they have a single software which can transform your Ubuntu into a Mac. It's like a skin pack more or less. However, I don't really like skin packs because they aren't that customizable. But the best part about this website is they give a deep information about the individual softwares they use to make their skin pack. And also they briefly describe how to get them too. There were, a few te uh, there were a few tweaks I couldn't really do without these guys. For instance, customizing the splash screen you see on the right side of the window, right side of the mon screen. Uh, every time I boot into Ubuntu, instead of getting Ubuntu written on the screen, I get a beautiful Apple logo. That was possible because uh, these guys at Noobs Lab helped me with their website. And there are a few other things such as uh, getting Mac OS X on the top bar, on the top left corner of the screen. Uh, getting Mac OS 10 on the top bar instead of Ubuntu desktop and also getting the Apple logo on the launcher instead of the unity symbol and and much more these guys worth a shout out I know I have taken a really long time talking about the software but I'm not sure how, how long the video is but I'm pretty sure it's more than 10 minutes uh, I don't know once I finish the editing so thank you very much guys for watching this video uh, i really wanted to sh i just really wanted to share about the customizations and things i was playing with the all these days thank you